Hi, this is John, and this video walks through some of the advanced features of Crawlbot, specifically limiting your crawl to certain sections of a website and setting up a repeat or recurring crawl. So, as with any crawl, we'll first give this one a name and enter the starting or seed URL. For this, let's imagine we're crawling diffbotmarketplace.com, a website that does a few different things. But today, let's say we only want to extract products, and rather than use the Analyze API to automatically identify products for us, we're going to only pass certain pages directly to the product API. One of the ways to limit our crawling is by entering crawl patterns. Crawl patterns use URL matches to define where our crawlbot spiders will look for new pages. In this case, if diffbotmarketplace.com keeps its shopping section under, say, diffbotmarketplace.com slash shopping, we can enter a crawl pattern of slash shopping slash, and then only pages whose URLs contain slash shopping slash will be crawled. Another option with crawl patterns. We can enter a negative crawl pattern to identify the parts of a site we don't want to crawl. In this case, if Diffbot Marketplace has a news section under diffbotmarketplace.com slash articles, we can specify that as definitely something we don't want to crawl by sticking an exclamation point in front of that crawl pattern. You can enter as many crawl patterns in as you need. An alternative to crawl patterns is the crawl regex, which lets you specify an exact regular expression. Only pages whose URLs match this expression exactly will be crawled. Let's take a look at max hops. Max hops defines how deep within a site we want to crawl. If we specify zero, we won't crawl the site at all. A hop of one will crawl only the links found on our seed URLs. Two will crawl links found on those pages, and so on. A max hop of five will probably get me most of the products on the site and ignore those deep within. But let's leave this blank for now, which means we'll crawl the entire site until we run out of pages. Let's scroll down to page processing limits. While the above crawling limits define where our spiders will go, processing limits define which pages will be handed to our product API for extraction. For instance, we don't want to send a product listing page to the product API, but we definitely want to be spidering those listing pages because that's where the links to individual product pages are. Now let's say Diffbot Marketplace product URLs all have the unique string product ID equals and then some product number. If we enter product ID equals as our processing pattern, we can ensure that only products are passed to the product API. And as with the crawling pattern or crawling, you also have the ability to enter a more specific processing regular expression. We also have a special field, HTML processing patterns that lets us limit pages processed to those whose HTML markup contains certain strings. If we're only interested in robot products, perhaps the product title is going to contain robot. So we can make sure that only pages with a title or H1 tag starting or ending with robot will be processed. We can add a third one to pick up any product starting with computer vision too. Now, let's have our crawl repeat so that we continually pick up the newest robot or computer vision products. First, I'm going to turn repeat crawl to on and specify that we'll have it check every three days for new products. Turning process only new pages on means that only new products, brand new URLs we haven't seen before, will be processed in subsequent rounds. If we turn this off, Crawlbot will reprocess all robot products every three days, including new ones. This is the way to make sure you always get the latest price data with Crawlbot, but for this, we'll only care about new products. Finally, we'll set repeat to zero to have it continue indefinitely. And now, at the end, I'll take advantage of Crawlbot's webhook functionality. Crawlbot will send a post with crawl metadata and data download links to this URL every time it finishes a round, every three days, basically. We'll hit Create Crawl, and we're off and running.